management needed information in order to make decisions. And that information was not readily available. The data was locked in many different systems, ERP system, billing information, sales information, logistics, automation and control systems. Furthermore, it was not in a, in a format meaningful to manage. The Pi system, the way we envisioned it, was for it to be a repository of technical data or field data. Some of the things we did is a map which shows the pressure along the network. All of this actually is up in our portal so that everybody can actually see this. The other thing is that we provided actually access to the regulator himself for all these dashboards, so to speak. This just shows the pressure as well as the level of the reservoir. This gives a lot of transparency, which was not possible before. We also implemented notifications. So if there's a critical signal going over a threshold, this generates an email. And we're now planning to do it also via SMS. We don't want to be beholden to a meter uh, provider. Every meter provider has a different format and a different protocol. Our idea is to use the Pi as a platform in the middle, which will talk to all these different brands of meters, whether they be drive-by or AMR. Different departments are actually involved in the data. We have telemetry, we have metering, we have water supply, we have sewerage, we have automation. Here are the data sources feeding into, into Pi. The people using the data are using it across the different departments. So a report may actually contain uh, information from water supply and telemetry, for example. I would say the Pi system is, is perfect for keeping technical data. I mean, that's what it has been built for. It's robust, it's fast, it has a deep history. And very important, it's easy to use, so much so that you know we don't need um, different departments coming to IT and asking for certain things to be produced. What are our next steps? The more data, the better. Connect, connect, connect.